Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going to the movie theaters because it is open for the first time in how long, Noah? Maybe almost two years, I want to say. Mm. It has been a long time, and today, what, not two years? No. How long? I don't no, know. No, the lights. No, how long? Not that long. All right, well, anyways, guys, we're going to see Space Jam today. I'm hoping they might have some of the pops in the lobby because that would be really cool. So I will show you because I know they do sometimes have Funko Pops. Haven't been inside yet, but it is super exciting. So let's go inside and let's get started. Also, before we get into the video, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying the video, consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, everybody, so we are in the theater right now. I can't show you the movie, but I will do like kind of a bit of a review after. I'll try my best with it. I'm not great with them. But anyways, I will see you after the film. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. All right, everybody, I am now out of the movie and since we're over here at the mall, I might as well go into EB Games to see if they have any more of the Space Jam Pops that I'm hunting for. And guys, just like that, I'm in the back of EB Games right now where they have all of their pops and it looks like they don't have any Space Jam pops, but I do have a couple packages that I've been meaning to open up that are full of Space Jam figures. So let's just go back to the office and let's do that. All right, everybody, so we are back from the movies as well as kind of Funko Pop hunting because I didn't buy anything, but we did go to EB Games. And if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did enjoy the movie. Now, by no means was it my favorite, but it was still a lot of fun. And I guess now that I know these characters a little bit better, we can actually go through the ones that I have as well as unbox some new ones and kind of talk about them in a little bit more detail. And I guess we can start with this one right here, which is Marvin the Martian. Now he isn't actually in the film for very long. Maybe on screen time, I'd give it three minutes, maybe two. Well, actually guys, now that I think about it, he was on the team. I just don't remember him being like the main person they showed while they were playing basketball or practicing. I feel like it was more so like Lola as well as Granny and then Roadrunner and maybe Sylvester and Tweety, people like that. And Marvin might've been in background shots a lot, but he definitely wasn't one of the characters that they really cut to all the time. But this is definitely a nice one. And I mean, whenever I can get a Marvin pop, I definitely want to grab it because I did miss out on the original one. So it is nice that I could grab this one. And now guys, here is Marvin out of the box. And I think that this figure really is nice. Like I love that he's wearing the Toon Squad jersey, even though it doesn't say Toon Squad on the jersey, you can see the colors and can tell that it is what he's wearing. And I also really enjoy the face on this one. And I feel like this was a really great updated mold, especially because the last one, I don't remember it exactly, but it definitely wasn't as detailed as this one. And now I do understand why they put him in the Toon Squad jersey, but I feel like it would have been better if they actually did him from the beginning of the movie where Bugs Bunny tries claiming Toon World as Earth and then Marvin Marvin the Martian comes down in his spaceship and claims it as Mars. And then they take his spaceship to leave Toon World. I feel like that would have been a little bit better, him with the Mars flag. But I mean, this one's still pretty good. And now guys, after that one, let's talk about Sylvester and Tweety. And there really isn't much going on with this one that is different from what I thought it was going to be. It's literally just another character that they needed to help play the basketball game. But I do think Funko did a great job with these figures, especially because Tweety is sitting on the basketball. And I do remember the original Sylvester, and I feel like this one looks a lot better. And I know that he is in his Toon Squad jersey instead of wearing, well, I guess absolutely nothing. So this figure is actually a little bit more detailed, but I do enjoy both of them. I think just this one with the Toon Squad jersey really does look great, especially because of his updated head on the sculpt. And now looking at these two out of the box, I think Funko did a great job with them. I also really enjoy how they made the basketball kind of glossy on Tweety Bird. And I think that makes it look a little bit more like an actual ball when you look at it close up. And now Funko never did make Sylvester and Tweety for the original Space Jam, so I think it is nice that they made it for this one, especially because they did go all out with this set, so I don't see why they wouldn't make these two. I know this is kind of funny, guys. I didn't mean for it to be like this, but I talked about the Toon Squad. Now let's talk about the Goon Squad. And actually, when I first got this figure, Dom, which is supposed to be LeBron James' son in the film, I did not think that he was going to have a big part, but he was like one of the main characters in the movie. And I did think it was a little weird that they were giving him a Goon Squad jersey, but now after watching the film, and I'm not gonna spoil too much, I do think that it's really great that they made him look exactly like this. And then I also really enjoy the Chase version of the Toon Squad jersey, because that makes sense a little bit closer to the end of the film. And if you guys don't know in the film, and I also don't wanna spoil anything, but then again, there's not really any spoilers that you can make in the film. I guess the only thing that I will say is I won't tell you what the score was at the end of the game. But yeah, I do think it's really cool that Dom throughout the film was creating his own video game and actually wanted to go to E3 to show it off. So I thought that was kind of cool that they were putting video games into the movie instead of just making it kind of like all about basketball There was also a video game aspect put into the film and now what would be really cool is maybe at E3 next year because E3 already did happen this year They somehow make an E3 exclusive Dom maybe him with a phone or him like in his video game. That would be sick 
I know guys, I'm not gonna be actively hunting for the Dom Chase, but if I do see it out in the wild, I will definitely pick it up because I would love to have him in his Toon Squad as well as Goon Squad jersey. And there we go guys, there is the first three. Now I do have one more that I wanna show you guys, which is Wetfire. Now this one right here is one that I did just show off yesterday, but because this is a Space Jam video, I might as well show it off again today because seriously, this is a nice pop. And if you guys don't know, this character here is played by Clay Thompson, and I think that he did a great job in the film, even though for like 90% of it, he was CGI, and then also didn't speak much, but I still thought the character was a pretty neat addition to the film. Especially because the wet fire upgrade put onto Clay Thompson was from Dom's game. So I think it's so cool that they were taking actual basketball players from the NBA as well as WNBA and creating these sick characters out of them. And now looking on the back here, they already made two of the different Goon Squad team members, but I feel like it'd be really cool if they made the other three because I can only think of really like maybe four or five. So to make the rest of them, I feel like wouldn't be that hard. And I would love to pick up the rest of them just because they were some really cool characters. And now, guys, if you want to check out the back of the box, and I know I am missing a lot of the main characters, I don't even have a Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, or Daffy Duck yet. I will try to get them in the future. It's just too bad I couldn't find them at EB Games today. But if you guys want to check out the back of the box, there is the rest of the characters, along with the ones that I just showed off. But now, guys, let's move these guys off to the side, and let's get on to these two packages right here that I've actually been saving for a while to open up in this video. And I think we're gonna start with the Amazon one first and then we'll get into the Funko Shop one after because this one was actually the Amazon exclusive and I haven't seen this one in person yet, so I hope it's cool. And so far, it looks like it came in in pretty good condition. I mean, it came inside of a sorter, so you really can't beat that. But now let's check out this figure. And here we go, guys. Three, two, one. It is LeBron James. Oh, I forgot. So this one here really isn't much different from the one you see on the back of the box. The only difference is, is that he's not dunking or he's not dribbling. He's actually just got his foot on the basketball. But seriously, this is a really neat figure and I definitely got to pop this one out of the box. And if you guys want to check out the LeBron James just a little bit closer up here, he is right here. And I especially love that they gave him the silver ball because that's what they use pretty much throughout the game. I mean, they also use the normal ones, but I feel like that's more towards the beginning and not during the final game. And looking at this figure for the first time out of the box, I think they did a great job with LeBron's face. And I feel like what really makes it look like LeBron James is the beard. And I felt like if they made it like 2D, kind of like how they did his mustache, it wouldn't have looked as good. And overall, guys, I think Funko did an amazing job of this one, especially with his tattoos on his arm, because you can even see all of the different ones, like the lion on the one side, as well as the crown and a basketball underneath it. And now I'm a little worried about this one because he is standing on the basketball. It does have a flat spot, but I don't know if he's going to stand. Is it? It's a little wobbly, but he does stand. Nice. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this one here is an Amazon exclusive. So if you want just a normal LeBron, you can get it at whatever store. But if you want this one specifically, of course, you have to go to Amazon. And now, guys, let's get on to the last package for this set, which is, of course, the Funko Shop exclusive. And I'm actually really excited about checking this one out. But now, after watching the film, I feel like he wasn't in it for very long. Like, again, here's the thing. They can't give screen time to every single one of the players on the basketball team. But I feel like, with him being a Funko Shop exclusive, I don't know, it felt like he was going to be in the movie for a little bit longer. And now, guys, let's check out this character. And also, I feel like this is the first time we've ever gotten this Looney Tune as a pop. And here we go, guys. Let's open this thing up in three, two, one. One, it is Porky Pig. I know guys, this figure is sick. And also looking at this one, I feel like this could be from the scene where he's notorious P.I.G. Or maybe he's just posing for something. But with his arms being crossed like that, he could have been rapping at this moment. And if you guys want to check out Porky Pig a little bit closer up there, he is right there. And I definitely have to take this one out of the box because I did notice a tiny little tail on the back. And I got to see that thing a little bit closer up. Oh, and now this is also interesting. His arms are high enough where they definitely could have put the Toon Squad logo on the jersey, but it looks like they just decided to not put it at all. But you guys can see there was definitely enough room to put maybe at least the word squad, but then it might have looked a little bit scuffed, so I totally understand why they didn't. Also, because want to check out the pigtail, well, there it is on the back. And I don't really know what this one's selling for, but I don't really care because I'm definitely going to be keeping it in my set to try and get the rest of the Space Jam ones because I feel like this might be a set that I'm going to try to complete or at least get one of each character because for now, I don't know if I'm going to be getting every single LeBron, but I definitely do need to get my Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, and Lola Bunny. And if you guys are wondering if I recommend the movie, I would say yeah. Now, it wasn't the best film I've ever seen, but it definitely was a fun one, especially if you've seen the original Space Jam. Also, if you're just a Warner Brothers fan in general, I definitely recommend checking it out because I don't think I touched upon it at all, but I will say this. If you have a Warner Brothers Funko Pop, it's probably in the movie. And I know that sounds weird, but when you watch the movie, you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, come subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Ops, Popsters, Thanks for watching. 
See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Slow. Let my legs.